this week's episode of Assassination Classroom, Koro Sensei is dodging the assassination skills of a highly skilled sniper, and the boys and girls of Class 3E are looking for love. So this week's episode looks like it's going back to the A B format, where the first half of the episode is its own self-contained story, and the second half of the episode is also its own self-contained story. It's very similar to American cartoons. However, there still is a little bit of continuity in this episode. The first half of the episode actually takes place during the uh, same time period as the last episode, except that we're seeing some other students who are trying to get Koro Sensei killed, thanks to the skills of this sniper by the name of Red Eye. Red Eye is one of the greatest snipers in the world, and his skills certainly pay the bills. The problem is, he's going up against Koro Sensei, who manages to dodge all of his gunshots in a lot of ridiculous and funny ways and it almost seems like he could have an opportunity to get him especially with the way the students are setting him up but what i really love about the first half of the episode is that not only does koro sensei stop all of the attacks from red eye but he actually ends up hanging out with him later and even sort of inspiring him to become a better assassin and this is also where we learn that this whole school trip is not just a means to kill koro sensei but to educate his students on their actual homeland and allow them to appreciate all of the places that they've been visiting, which also have to do with assassination as well. But the first half of the episode was definitely more of the action part of the episode, and it was a lot of fun. I especially loved the scene where all the students were hanging out and watching the samurai reenactment, and Koro Sensei got so excited that he had to get in there too. And I don't even know if these guys were like prepared for any of this, but it really looks like he was actually attacking them, which made the scene all the more funny. The second half of the episode is a little more lighthearted, but I love it for a number of reasons. One, we get some more face time with the actual students and some of the ones we haven't seen before, and two, we actually get to learn a little bit more about Koro Sensei's backstory and even the revelation that he himself might originally have been human. One of my favorite things about the second half of the episode is how Koro Sensei is sneaking around the hotel and watching his students and listening in on their conversations. I also really love the scene where there's that one female student by the name of Nakamura who's trying to peep in on him when he was taking a bath, which, according to the students, has got to be the most unsexy peeping of all time. And I gotta admit, it's true, it's hilarious. But apparently Koro Sensei can actually have this weird, like, mucusy lather all over his body, and he filled up the tub with jello so you actually couldn't see his body. I'm kind of curious myself. They have a few shots of what his possible body could look like, and frankly, I'm all for the muscular one. That one's hilarious. So like I said, Koro Sensei is just going around listening in on the different conversations. I especially love the one in the girls' room where he suddenly appears out of nowhere listening in on Professor Bitch's conversation, trying to educate the girls a little bit. And he even mentions himself that he has had many loves in his life, but he doesn't want to get into that quite yet. So, so he makes a pretty quick escape and meets up with Karasuma. And Karasuma mentions that if he actually had someone he was in love with when he had two arms and two legs... Koro Sensei goes completely silent, and Karasuma decides not to ask him any more questions. And at the very end of this week's episode, we get to see that there are going to be some new students joining the class, and they're apparently going to be some superhuman assassins. They're completely left in silhouettes, and we're only to guess who they could be, but frankly, I'm excited. I can't wait to see where this is going. Otherwise, I've really enjoyed this entire class trip. I thought it's been really nice, and it's just been great to finally see some of the other students. Although, I would like to learn a little bit more about them, because there's a lot of scenes in the episode where they start spewing out their names, and frankly, it's kind of hard to put some of the names to faces when we haven't had so much FaceTime with them, especially Japanese names, because you guys know my Japanese pronunciation is pretty much garbage. So what's the rundown on this week's episode of Assassination Classroom? This is a very nice episode. I like how little by little they're introducing all these world-class assassins who are teaming up with the students and trying to take him out. And what I also really loved about this episode is how it's almost kind of like a Japanese history lesson in some sense. They don't really get into the details of anything, but just getting to see all the different places they're visiting and just like all the terms they use. Like, there's a scene where Red Eye is actually trying to kill Koro Sensei, and he actually stops the bullet with this thing called a Katsuhashi, which is some sort of Japanese confection. But just the fact that he's able to do that, stop it in midair slow mo, and capture it is really funny. 
The second half of the episode didn't do too much for me, but mostly because I'm just not really into the whole pairing thing. It was still funny getting to see Koro Sensei sneak around a little bit, and I especially loved when they brought up the fact that he was probably human originally. There's just so much mystery to Koro Sensei's backstory, why he exists, why he's going to destroy the Earth. It's ridiculous. In fact, the episode actually opened up with a really funny scene of him describing how to actually draw his face, except on the actual planet. He even asks the students to do this, but as usual, that's frigging impossible. So this was a very funny, heartwarming, very nice episode. Getting into Koro Sensei's backstory a little bit, learning a little bit more about his weaknesses, which are he can't eat very hot foods, and he loves to gossip. There's always a weird weakness that pops up in every single episode. All I know is this was another fun, infectious episode of Assassination Classroom, which is not a perfect episode, but one that you should definitely check out if you've been following the anime series, or if you consider yourself a fan of the manga version. So I'm going to give this week's episode a 4 out of 5. So check it out, guys. Another awesome episode of Assassination Classroom. Thank you guys for watching my review. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And before you guys leave, please tell me what you thought about this week's episode of Assassination Classroom in the comment section below. Did you have a favorite scene from this week's episode? What did you think of Red Eye? And who are the two mysterious superhuman freaking assassins going to be? And how are they going to stop Koro Sensei? And what do you think is really up with Koro Sensei? Like, what do you think his backstory is going to be? And don't put freaking manga spoilers. Try to actually give me your real theories on what could possibly be happening here. Thank you guys for watching again. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and check out our new podcast show. It's in the description box below. Super Kami Guru 9000. Out.